We've had so many people uh, write in and ask us questions about this conversion for the spotless unit to make it more efficient, which I don't blame you because you know, we're the owner of two of these, one at home here and one on our RV. But this small one, we, we can't even use anymore. After a couple of washes, we have to change the resin. So this new conversion uh, using these conversion tubes will make this unit so efficient. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through what we need to do to convert this. So we're going to see how much more resin this unit takes because the resin that is supplied to refill this with the cartridge system will probably last four washes which um and if you're in a if you're in an area with really hard water probably even less than that i've known one person um got one wash and you know and at 45 dollars a refill that's just it's just not on so the first thing as always i use uh, gloves right so we're good to go so you're going to need a pair of you're going to need your wrench to undo the cartridges you're going to need a pair of scissors to undo the bag and you're going to need some sort of uh, trash sack to put the old resin in so first of all we'll start by taking off the the cart the outer cartridges now you only need this really to break the 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 initial seal because they're done up really tight so they don't leak so we can now just spin these off and inside is this cartridge system now we're not actually going to use this at, uh, at all anymore we're just going to use just this we'll do the same with the other side So I'm just going to discard those over there. As we're going to convert this, I think the best thing we need to do is take off these labels. And this way we'll know that the unit is going to be, has been converted and it's far more efficient than the old fashioned system. So we've got our refill bags here. These are, as I said earlier, these are $45 for these two bags. So let's just see how many of these, how many of these bags it takes. I mean, if nothing else, it's so much easier just filling up the, the, um, the cartridges directly. That's just over half full. It's not just the fact that it holds more resin, you know, it physically holds more resin. It's the fact that the way it converts, uses the resin to convert the water into deionized water is a far more effective system. So instead of holding two bags, it holds three. Now we simply take our conversion tubes, stick it into the unit. Hold the unit up as a ready to screw on and just force that tube up. and then you screw it back on. I mean, what could be easier? So basically, this cart, this O-ring distorts, and when that's forced up there, because it's, an, it's not a proper fit, that distorts, and this deionized water then mixes with the incoming water. That's what makes it, you know, less efficient. So, 
basically this tube just fits up inside the unit but obviously you've got to have it in the resin and it's a lot easier to do it when the unit's upright so i normally make the hole first push that up i mean that's it and and that's taken approximately five minutes and that's with me you know explaining it to the camera so all i've got to do now is lay that on its side uh, as i would if i was using the cartridge system and just make sure that these are done up tightly otherwise it will leak so this spotless machine from a DIC 10, which according to the manufacturer's literature will produce 200 gallons into a unit that's far, far more efficient. This now. So we're gonna now wash a black car in the sunlight. Well, I'm not, I'm gonna get somebody else to wash it because it's not my car. Uh, we're gonna wash a black car in the sunlight using this conversion and uh, you'll see the results firsthand. So let's go over and do that now. So Max behind me is washing his, uh, his own car. He's got a black car. He loves keeping it clean. And obviously any dark colors really show the dirt. So we've set up a little soap cannon that I've just bought uh, through a, a power washer. And he's just rinsing it with uh, soap first. And then he's gonna uh, wash it with uh, a brush or a sponge and then we're gonna rinse it with DI water and, and we'll have a look at the results. Now, of course, the problem with black is that if he's not careful, the soap is gonna dry, uh, it's gonna dry quickly. So he needs, to, he needs to get his ass into gear. And it is lunchtime. The French normally stop between 12 and two. So I'm, I'm quite amazed he's actually, he's still working. Now this is purely soap and water through a pressure washer that's what's making it froth up um, this is car shampoo it's nothing special um, i use it for washing everything from the um, from the lawnmower to the car it's great and i i, I love things you know when when something foams up you, you think it's actually doing a good job some of these uh some of these washes you buy now they don't seem to get any any foam in the water of course when it's sunny you really need to rinse off the soap as quick as possible so i'm uh, i'm giving a bit of a helping hand here because what you don't want is that soap to dry and notice i'm not using a lot of pressure here because all we're trying to do is rinse the soap off we're not we're not trying to take the paint off but what we don't want is the soap to dry so I'm actually holding the camera and rinsing the car. God, there's no end to my talent. It's very tempting to, uh, to cover him in water. Now this is the, uh, the secret of this really is, you know, just wash it, rinse it, um, don't let the soap dry. If you let the soap dry, you might have a little bit of a problem. You might have to wash that bit again. And black, being black, absorbs the heat. And basically, it will dry really quickly. So this is rinsing with deionized water. I mean, black is a great color to demonstrate this on because, um, because it dries so quickly. Um, and normally black is the color that shows, shows all the dirt. Black glass is um, amazing. I mean, we've tried lots of various glass cleaners on Julia's cars, got black glass. And the uh, trouble is they dry. As soon as you spray them on, they dry. you know 
you've got to get the soap off. And then what's left is pure deionized water. And of course, because there's no impurities in that water, well, you'll see, you'll see in a minute how much, how much it will shine. Max. <clears throat> now, if this was the unconverted system, uh, this would probably be out of resin by now. It's not the case that it, uh, you know, it's the quantity of resin so much as the fact that it's, it's a very inefficient way of delivering the DI water. So you think the resin's run out, when in fact the resin hasn't run out. And of course you change it at, uh, on this small unit, it's $45 a, you know, it's $45 every time you change the resin on this. So that gets expensive, $45 to rinse the car. I've just, I've just pointed out that he's still got soap on the roof. And if you don't get soap off the roof. So what we'll do now after we've rinsed it, well, Max has rinsed his car, we'll, uh, we'll stop and have a beer, which is, I think, mandatory. Beer? Possible. <laughs> So we've just finished, or he's just finished washing his car, and uh, I think you can see it's pretty shiny. So, uh, uh, Max, uh, la risotta, c'est bon? La risotta, c'est superbe, c'est magnifique. So, Max, uh, tu achètes un système maintenant? Ah oui, c'est sûr. Avez-vous le money? Oui. <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, a black, black is just the color. I mean, look, you can you can see my reflection. This has not been polished, this car, at all. And it's not properly dry yet, but, um, I mean, you can see, it is just incredible. There's no white spots at all on this car. I mean, he's pleased, I'm pleased. It's a great product, and really, you really should, if you've got one of these old, inefficient, spotless systems, convert it, because... Or convert it or buy a new one. I mean, uh, the new one has a bypass valve, so you don't have to fanny around with two hose pipes. But, I mean, the whole, the whole thing with DI water is you get a fantastic result with very, very little effort. So that's, uh, that's all good as far as I'm concerned.